Hello, my name is Ivan Taylor, and I want to share with you today some work that uh, some teammates and I are doing on uh, combining multi-criteria decision-making with a system dynamics model. We've built a model of the life cycle of a small to medium-sized enterprise. And this life cycle is shown here where the small business will enter from the left and go through a series of stages in its life cycle. And at each stage, uh, the business can either continue to the next stage, they could successfully exit, or it could fail. So we were thinking of building, of using multi-criteria decision-making to estimate the continuation rate, the successful exit rate, and the failure exit rate for each of the stages in the life cycle. So multi-criteria decision-making is a powerful concept from operational research that uses weights and scores to, to pr provide a, a view of the best decision in, in, of a number of options. Now we're going to apply it to this model and we're going to, to break these, uh, this model down in hierarchically uh, by high level factors and low level factors of success. So we have a financial market product and organizational factors for success. And we're going to uh, estimate uh, the weight of each of those factors compared to the others by giving it a score between zero and 100 and then normalizing it so that the values sum to one. And then underneath these high level factors, we have a series of low level factors. So this is the list of the low level factors under the financial success category. So you can see there's a number of factors and using expert judgment, we hope to uh, estimate to weight these factors uh, compared to each other and then normalize them so they sum to one. And similarly, there are low level factors for market success and low level factors for product success and low level factors for organizational success. So the next thing we need to do is we need to score uh, the small to medium sized enterprise on each of the low level success factors. Again, we use uh, a, a, sc a, a scale between zero and a hundred. And then by normalizing, by combining the normalized high level success factors and the normalized low level success factors, weights, and then no, the normalized small to medium sized enterprise scores, we can obtain uh, an estimate of the, the the success rate for the business. And this would be broken into either a continuation of the business or possibly a successful exit. And also we would obtain a, a failure exit rate. And then we can apply these rates in the system dynamics model. So, um, Concluding, we, we have built a, a system dynamics model of the life cycle of a small to medium sized enterprise. As the small to medium sized enterprise progresses through the life cycle, there is the possibility to continue to the next stage, successfully exit or fail. Uh, we plan to use a multi-criteria decision-making tool to estimate continuation rates, successful exit rates and failure exit rates and apply them in our model. And we believe that using uh, this multi-criteria decision-making tool may help a small to medium-sized enterprise owners diagnose and correct any problems in their business plans and processes. So if you're interested in learning more about this model of small to medium-sized enterprises, or if you're interested in applying uh, multi-criteria decision-making tools in your system dynamics models, you can feel free to contact us and we can share our work and possibly work with you in, in this kind of an effort. Thank you very much.